doesn't get old. If the passion that you have, the feeling that you get, all the hard work and all these years, and, and for me at this age to get the opportunity to do what I do, what I love, it says it all. He's an OG, you know, he's Hall of Fame jockey, you know. When I was back home in Puerto Rico, going to the jockey school, I wanted to be just like him, and I still think in the same way. It's Animal Kingdom and John Velasquez to win the Derby! First of all, he's an idol for us in Puerto Rico, and he's one of the best ever. It's very satisfying that, that you come home and say, like, you know what? At this age, I'm still got it. After graduating from jockey school as a teenager, Velasquez linked up with Hall of Fame jockey and Puerto Rican thoroughbred racing icon Angel Cordero, who supported a move to New York City. I've never been out of the country, out of Puerto Rico. I was very blessed that I came to a family. They took care of me like I was their own son. Cordero didn't just help Johnny V to the next stage of his career and then send him on his way. He welcomed the teenage protege into his home and allowed Velasquez to find his footing at the sport's highest level. Now, decades later, Velasquez feels like it's his turn to impact the lives of young jockeys in a similar way. When I got here, he, he really helped me a lot uh, at the track, but most importantly, outside. He set me up financially, find my accountant, do all my retirement stuff, and that really helped me out. I learned a lot of good things about him, and never, never, never a bad thing. He's such a role model, you know. And perhaps the greatest impact Velasquez has had on the next generation of jockeys has been demanding better medical protocols at racetracks around the country. I got involved with the Jockeys Guild maybe 14 years ago. We were working really hard to make sure we get at least one paramedic on site. And this focus on the safety of his fellow riders may have saved his own life. At Keeneland in 2006, he was involved in a horrific accident after his horse crossed the line. I was hurt, but I didn't think I was hurt badly. And all of a sudden, I went to get up, and, and I couldn't walk. They have about five minutes to save my life. That moment for working with the racetracks and the stakeholders to make sure we at least will have a paramedic on site that could save somebody's life, I mean, it saved my life. In this industry, he stood up for us jockeys, and I really appreciate that about him. He's our leader. He's always there fighting for us, for our rights, and he always doing the right thing. I've done a lot, I and mean, I'm proud of what I've done, but I still feel like I, I still have more left. If I still get these opportunities that I'm getting now to ride this, this kind of horse, it's gonna suck me back into it. <laughs> I think he is the GOAT, and he will be for the rest of my life, in my opinion. So I don't know what it's chasing, but whatever it is, hopefully you get it.